I'm still missing the Bay by a lot, missing all you guys back home, missing the course, obviously, after all that work. It's kind of wake up and be like, oh, you're not even in SF. You can't even do anything like that. So. Alrighty guys, here at the 2019 Memorial Championships with coverage presented by OTB. I'm standing here with Austin's newest transplant, Patrick Brown. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing great, and it's good to see you. Uh, you yeah. have left San Francisco, and it's a tear coming down my eye. It was fun to see you at the course all the time. Uh, but how are you liking Austin, man? I like Austin a lot. You know, I lived there previous to living in the Bay for 20 years, so I'm still, I still feel like I'm not totally transplanted. A um, little rainy this off season, so it was a little muddy, but you know, got Roy G and North Town's right by my house, so I'm feeling good. I, I like the courses. Uh, I just need to build into playing with some new people because we don't have the scene. I don't, yeah. the scene's not like it is in SF <laughs> where you can just go get a game anytime, any day. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I love it, man. Skateboarding, I'm back with some old friends. And you know, the rent, saving the rent money yeah. since being gone seven months of the year, paying that rent when you're not home, you know, you I, know. I do know, man, I do know. Um, so. And, and uh, are you still doing the like graffiti art style stuff? I know that's like one of the things that I find like most interesting about you is your, your skills, you know, both on the course, but with the, with the spray paint can, how's that going for you? Yeah, man, yeah, uh, Austin has a big scene for urban art, graffiti art, uh, street art, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of homies from old crews and stuff that are still doing it. Some are living professionally off of art. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to get back in it. I've painted a bunch of walls this off season, trying to rehab the knee. So it was a great relief because you know how it is to be a disc golfer. Mm -hmm. You never want to stop disc golfing. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the first time I didn't practice for almost a month. So I was very, very questionable yeah. about oh, what am I doing? Um, <laughs> but, yeah, the art's coming along. I just got some new jobs. I'm going to be painting some apartment complex walls and wow. stuff to, like, brighten up some areas and put some positivity on them. Uh, yeah, so I'm really digging that. And I dig the scene for disc golf. Uh, the music there is ridiculous. Yeah. There's so much good music. Food, which is hard when you're trying <laughs> to stay trim and stay on the diet and train all off season. Had to, had to avoid queso and everything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I love Austin. I always have. I lived there eight years previous to you know the bay but i'm still missing the bay by a lot missing all you guys back home missing the course yeah. obviously after yeah. all that work it's kind of wake up and be like oh you're not even in sf you can't even do anything like yeah. that so yeah it's coming along i think it's going to take me maybe another year you know after 20 yep. maybe to work in especially i only get to be home a couple months so yeah. well th that's exactly it i mean you know we're traveling all these months you know we can call it home but really like the road is is home at this yeah. point yeah um so yeah. Bigger change, though, on the course is you're not going to be represented by Lat 64 anymore. So that means I'd imagine some new discs in your bag. Can you kind of like run us through maybe some shifts? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the contract just didn't work out with him this year. Uh, I personally wanted to stay with one of my sponsors from previous times that I've been with forever. So I got to thank Grip for having my back for the last nine years and also putting me into a two year contract. At my age, it's hard to keep sponsors and, and keep people intrigued in you with all these kids that are just hammering the road right now. But uh, yeah, I just kind of flipped back to a bag from four years ago and just pulled it out because I put it away like a vault yep. and just went right back into it, you know, and it feels really good. The P2s are flying nice. My putts felt really solid the last two weeks mm -hmm. uh, so far on tour. <laughs> uh, it's my third week with the bag. So, yeah, Discmania, some stuff by them. I got the Nova back. Uh, so I felt really confident on my approaches and, you know, the disc stopping and stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, of course, I missed discs that I had before. I could... I could pretty much throw whatever. Yeah. Uh, it's just, um, it's just, yeah. I had to go some direction, so I tried to like make it fun and try some new stuff. Yeah. Sure. Maybe some old stuff, yeah. but it's new after three or four years of hammering with you know solid lat, solid DD, or the whole trilogy family. Got a shout out to them for the time I was with them for the two majors and stuff. So, you know, it's all good. Yeah, so last year, you know, you mentioned the two majors. Um, I filmed the one, the, uh, I believe it was 2016 U.S. Masters yeah. over at Stockton. Um, but last year, you did secure your first world championship. Yeah. Um, how did that feel, you know, after, I'd imagine, so many years of really probably envisioning that? It felt like a big relief. Uh, I mean, it, it's kind of the big relief that's made me a happier person, made me, like, take a little stress off myself and quit coaching myself so hard in order to uh, just have more fun out there right now. Like, I just had a seamless game today, and I never got high. I never got low. I never... 
felt any emotion. I just kind of playing it out, trying to follow like mim mimic Bobby Music or Kayla Visca or somebody like that. Just, you know, I'm getting older. I don't need any stress. Yep. And so already with the contracting and stuff like that, that's enough mental stress. So I'm trying to not have physical stress uh, on the course. And so, yeah, yeah, I just feel like trying to make that advancement is going to be a big part to my next adventure in this game. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, it's clearly showing you're paying dividends. Uh, you shot pretty solid. I believe it was 10 under. You mm -hmm. got to double digits. Um, I'm just standing here by 18. I saw that drive come in. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Um, how's your game feeling? You mentioned everything's flying good, but out here next to the water, you know, really knowing your discs is critical. Um, how do you feel about your game, you know, for one more here at Fountain and then two more at Vista? Um, I feel good. I mean, I, I just, you know, I'm just going with how I practice with the disc and then I'm just trying to perform. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm a straight shooter, straight line shooter. So I don't play a lot of big banging hyzers. I, you know, like you saw my last shot, I just do straight to the basket. That's the way I got to go. And I just got to believe in what I'm throwing. And so Vegas was a little harder with the, uh, the wind, the temperatures on the hands, the crispness of the disc. Uh, so this week, yeah, I'm feeling everything's just good. I'm just good. Like I, you know. Like I was saying, I'm just going to practice warm-up double time. I've been really working on myself, my body, everything with Seth from Disc Golf Strong, with a personal trainer at home, dietitian at home. So I'm trying to carry that onto the road now, which is going to be a little tough. But uh, I feel that that's all working towards the mental and the physical. So once your mental and your physical are getting really good, it's really just put the disc, put it out there flat and hard and let's go, you know? Awesome. Well, hey, I, I'm stoked for you, you know, on a personal level and on a professional level. I'm really happy everything is going good. Um, I'll get you out of here by, uh, you know, anything you want to say to your friends or family back home? Anybody rooting you on? Oh, man, to everybody out there, you know, all the love and support for the tour disc, uh, for, you know, just hitting me up on, on the gram, on uh, Facebook, letting us know that you're out there. It means a lot to the touring pros, especially being on the road, having friends and people from your hometown to run into. It's, it's, a, it's a good thing. So peace to everybody. Keep going. Keep them in the air. Get those birdies. Awesome. Well, hey, it was awesome talking to you, man. I really appreciate your time. Uh, and for all of you at home, check out coverage of all things disc golf at my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching that interview. If you have it in you, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash johnnydiscgolf. And if not, make sure to check out only the best discs at otbdiscs.com. They've got the firmness and flatness of every disc listed, as well as all of your favorite pros' signature series. So make sure to check them out.